Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super easy lemon balm salve. I'm making it today for just for me and Rose and we are going to be using it as a lip balm. So I'm just going to be doing a very basic one but I will go over its benefits and the different um, oils you can put into it and what they will do for you. This is part of a series that I've done on lemon balm and I will add um, other ones in at the end in the description box below so do check those out and if you haven't already please subscribe click the notification bell so that you can be notified of other herbal videos that I'm doing so to make the salve you will need some lemon balm infused olive oil that's what I've used and I'm just about to show you how to make that and then I have used um, jojoba oil added to it as an oil and you will need some beeswax I use the pellets because I find that they melt a lot quicker and you will need nowhere near this amount to get these two tins here I've used a quarter cup of the oil and only seven grams of beeswax pellets there's you know which is about a teaspoon of them so there's lots here now the finished product that I have made as I said, we're going to use it for lip balm. So the jojoba oil is very moisturizing. Um, the lemon balm is healing. It will help if your lips are a bit painful, if they're chapped. Um, but you can add other oils in for cold sores. But also, as this is, um, you can also use it for insect bites, cuts, scrapes, you know, little things like that. Um, just a natural product that you can use and uh, keeping a first aid kit to, you know, if you've got kids, to put on, on them as and when they need it. The one thing I would say keeping it in a first aid kit is if you keep it in the car, this will go um, into liquid again. So um, it's not something that you want to keep somewhere where it's warm. Now let's get on to making the oil. First off, um, let's see the lemon balm. Now this lemon balm is high in moisture and that's too high moisture content for us to make our oil infusion. So what we are going to use is some dried lemon balm that I made um, yesterday. Way to dry lemon balm, you can either hang it upside down um, in a cool dry place and leave it, in, take a couple of weeks. If you have a dehydrator, you can dehydrate it as I did. Or you can pop it in the oven at about 50 degrees, that's 120 Fahrenheit. Um, you want about 8 hours, but make sure your oven can maintain a steady 50 degrees. So, but you really don't want any moisture in this. And I'm not, there's no measurements at this stage. I'm just going to pop it in a jar. Just going to use all I've got at the moment. And then I'm going to top this up with oil. Now for the salve that we're going to make, we're going to, we're going to need a quarter of a cup of the infused oil. So you want to make sure you've got at least that. I'm using olive oil. I like the, um, I think the smell goes well with the lemon balm. And you want to make sure that the oil is covered. The oil has covered the lemon balm. I'm going to poke that down. Just make sure there's no air in there. Now this needs to sit for about three weeks. Out of direct sunlight, I'm just going to put it in our pantry and come back in three weeks. And here we are back a couple of months later and here is the infused oil with the lemon balm in it. Now I'm just going to um, put this through a muslin to uh, make sure all of the leaves are out of that so I've just got a jug a funnel 
and I have an old muslin that we used when Rose was a baby and now as you can see from the colour I use it to um, just for things like this. I'm just going to pour that in. And then we'll let that strain through. That was done pretty quickly. I'm just going to take this off. And I can squeeze. Now this will come through. Now I've got a double boiler that I'll be using. This is the top half of it. And because I only want to make two tins, one for me and one for Rose. I'm only going to use a quarter cup of the oil. So I shall just measure this out. There we go. Into the pan. Now if you don't have a double boiler, then what you can use is a saucepan with a glass bowl sitting on the top. Now for the rest of the oil, there's not that much left but I'm going to just pop this into a clean jar, label it, and I shall keep it in the pantry in case I want to use it for something else. There we go. Now, because I've used a quarter a cup of this, I'm going to add to this seven grams of beeswax pellets. You can use a bar, the only difference between getting pellets and the bars you can get is that the pellets melt quicker. Just going to move it to the stove. This is the bottom half of the pan. I've got it on a medium heat and I'm just going to put the top bit in like that. There we go. And I'm just going to keep it over a gentle low heat. I'm going to turn it down once it starts. the water starts to warm up until the beeswax pellets have melted. There we go, that actually didn't take long at all. By the time I started the video again, it's actually, um, the beeswax pellets had melted. So now it's obviously all mixed in and we're going to work quite quickly and get some essential oils into this. Okay, I'm just setting up some things. I'm going to reuse the jug to pour it into the tins. That will make it easier. Bring this over. Now there are many different oils that you can actually choose to use in this. Personally, we are using it for um, a lip balm. Right, I've just moved the camera so it's in a better position. I'm just about to put in for us some jojoba oil. We use this because it is moisturising and um, it's got vitamin E in it as well, which will also help to preserve the salve. I'm just putting in half a teaspoon and um, for us that is all I am using. You could add, depend, I mean you can use this if you get some really sore chap lips you can use, um, you could add more lemon balm oil. I would do that um, if we had any. You could use um, tea tree oil that's um, more antiviral and healing if your lips are super chapped. I mean, I'll just get a little bit dry at this time of year. If you have cold sores, then you can add um, L-lysine. And for, if you're making half a cup, uh, you would need a tablespoon of L-lysine powder. What you can do is you can um, buy tablets from places like the health food shops and use those just crush them up into a fine powder and if you are super sore you can also use clove oil and that helps with the pain because of the numbing effect that you get with clove oil and so i'm just doing one tin for me and one tin for rose There we go, look at that, perfect. And I'm just going to leave those to set. 
There we go, that didn't take long at all. And I think that's because my kitchen is so cold. So I'm just going to put the lids on now. Did these on the computer. Just so we remember what they are. So that's those all done. I wouldn't say it's a quick recipe just because you have to infuse the lemon balm at the beginning. You could just use lemon balm oil if you don't want to infuse the lemon balm, but I think it's a great way to use this herb if you are growing it. Um, but it is really quick and easy to make once you've got your infused oil. So let me know in the comments below if you make it. It's definitely something we are going to look forward to trying. Take care everybody. Bye bye.